As pain specialists, we naturally have extensive experience with shoulder pain and mild shoulder osteoarthritis, so we know what exercises can help you. For over 30 years, we have been observing the connections between the posture that people assume. Namely, the arms are usually in front of the body at approximately this angle and the shoulders are rotated inward. Yes, and the problems that arise from it, namely shortenings all around the shoulder. And one of the main factors contributing to this is the shortening of the chest muscles, the pectoralis minor and the pectoralis major, and consequently the entire rotator cuff. And when we dissolve these shortenings, when we make these inflexibilities more flexible, the chance is incredibly high that the whole area of pain will dissolve more and more and transition into a comforting shoulder. We start with some exercises in the corner. If you don't have a corner, then go into a door frame. But in the long run, it would be best if you had a corner at home where you can do all these exercises because it simply saves a lot of time and can achieve a lot with little effort. Stand there, let your arms hang and bend your forearms at a 90 degree angle. Now you go forward until your palms touch the wall, take a big step back with one foot. Yes, leave the other foot standing and now it's about moving yourself increasingly into the corner with the upper end of the sternum. And now your arms are pushed backwards on one hand and at the same time the upper arms are rotated outwards. And this is how you build up the stretch. It usually pulls quite sharply directly into the shoulder, in such a fitted place where it needs to lengthen. You breathe in deeply, breathe out deeply, and with each exhale, you go a little further into the stretch, increasing the intensity. And when you have been going for about a minute, then you press against the wall with both hands, as if the upper arm wants to rotate inward, and as if the whole arm wants to move forward. Press with all your strength. You can press as hard as possible, just not abruptly, not suddenly, but steadily increasing the pressure. Use a significant amount of force, as much as you can comfortably endure. Then you relax again, let go and go a little further in. And do the whole thing until the second minute is over. That is the first exercise. In the second exercise, the arms are extended at shoulder height. Then you go to 45 degrees and bend the forearms so that the forearms are perpendicular. Go slowly forward until you have contact with your hands. Take one foot far back, further back, further back. Yes, so that you lean forward a bit, come out of the hollow back. Then it pulls more directly into the shoulder, only when you already come out of the hollow back, and then you go further in with the upper end of the sternum and release the stretch. You notice that is also intense. This also goes pretty tight into the shoulder, releases nicely, and you do it like in the previous exercise, one minute of deep, even breathing, always going a little further in with each exhale. When one minute is over, then you press your hands against the walls as if you wanted to do it, you press against it, but no movement occurs. This is just strength training in the fixed position. Relax again. And then you go further in with the upper end of the sternum and repeat that until the second minute is also over. 
The next exercise is almost in the same position with an important change because now the arms remain extended after being brought to 45 degrees. One foot back, one foot forward, and the upper end of the sternum back into the corner, but the elbows are fully extended, that is important, and inhale again for a minute, going deeper into the stretch. After the second minute has started, press both hands firmly against the wall without moving the body, release after three, four seconds, continue further until the second minute is over. You can do the next exercise on the mat, or maybe on a soft carpet, you go on all fours and then go back with your knees as far as possible. So that you have space, let your chest hang through, practically lowering yourself down. You should reach the position with your arms stretched, where the thighs are more or less vertical. Very, very important in the exercise. You must keep your elbows straight. They must be completely straight so that you can achieve the correct stretch, and then you pull your sternum increasingly towards your knees and go in properly. Breathe in again first. And after one minute you start and press with both palms as forcefully as possible against the ground without bending the elbows, keep them fully extended, then relax. Go further into the stretch directly and repeat that until the second minute is also over. I would recommend using a loop or a belt that is tied accordingly for the last exercise. You can also do it without, but it is relieving. I'll explain to you why. Please take the loop back, reach in, and now the loop fixes your distance. And once you have it, then you are in a safe position. The arms cannot slip away, and it is fixed. And in the position, first go as far back as possible with the arms. Yes, arms are fully extended, and then you walk slowly with the buttocks for stretching, with weight shifting further and further forward. But move slowly, so don't move vigorously, so that no swinging loads come on the shoulder. Just reach a little further forward more and more and then it pulls here over the shoulders into the arms. And open up everything that is too tight here in the front again. And you do that for one minute, more and more, always as it gives in. Keep moving forward like this. Increase the distance between buttocks and hands. And then you start and press as hard as possible into the ground with the palms of your hands. The strength training, which makes the whole thing so efficient, press firmly into the ground, let go loosely, and just let go loosely, walk a little further forward, and do that until the second minute is over. I am curious how the exercises work for you. Write us another comment under the video if you have gained some experience with it, and let us know. We have something very special for you, namely the shoulder pain guide. Click here, then you will receive it free of charge. And with that, we say goodbye for now. Thank you for watching.